Hi, I'm Tony Stanky with Case IH. I'm going to provide an overview of the liquid fertilizer system on the Case IH 2000 series planters. The fertilizer system on the planters is a flow-based system. In the flow-based system, we use a hydraulically driven centrifugal pump to go ahead and provide flow for the system. In model year 2000, we changed the centrifugal pump to a wet seal design. The wet seal design will protect the pump seal in the event that the system runs dry of fertilizer. Planters prior to model year 2000 have a dry seal pump and the operator must ensure that the liquid fertilizer system does not run dry or seal damage will occur. On the wet seal pump, there is a pressure gauge that needs to be checked daily to ensure that we have the proper uh, pressure in the system. After the flow leaves the centrifugal pump, it comes up to our manifold assembly. The first thing in the manifold assembly is our agitation line. In normal operation, the agitation line needs to be open. This provides a pressure port back to tank when the section valve shut off. After the agitation line, we have a strainer assembly. The strainer should be checked daily to ensure that it is not plugged and restricting flow in the system. You should also clean the strainer during operation that you find that the system cannot meet the desired application rate. Next in the system is our flow meter. The standard flow meter on the planters is good from 0 to 25 gallons per minute of flow. The flow meter provides a measurement of the product flow as it's going to the toolbar. From the flow meter, the product goes to our section valves. Our planters are set up for three section control of fluid going to the toolbar. The last thing in the valve stack is the pressure sensor. The pressure sensor is to provide feedback to the operator of the working pressure of the system. From here we will move to the wet bar that is mounted on the planter toolbar. Now that we're at the wet boom, we will talk about our nozzle bodies. In our nozzle bodies, we have mechanical drip checks. Mechanical drip checks will hold 10 PSI of pressure in the boom when not operating. During normal operation, when operating pressure increases above 10 PSI, they will open and allow flow down to our application point. Within the quick disconnect on the nozzle body is where our metering orifices are installed. Metering orifice size is based on row width, application rate, and operating speed. Consult your operator's manual to select the appropriate size orifice for your operating speed and desired application rate. For customers who wish to have individual rows shut off on their fertilizer system, the mechanical drip check can be removed and replaced with a solenoid operated check valve. For more information on the operation of the fertilizer system, please reference your operator's manual or contact your Case IH dealer.